Welcome to ME160 Engineering Drawing, Part 6 Development, Section 2-3. Learning Objective 2-3. Be able to apply auxiliary projection to determine dihedral angle between two planes. Dihedral angle. The angle between two planes that is the angle between the edge views of the two planes. Dihedral angle is the angle between two planes. Here we have one view, that is the front view, and that is the top view. Now, for the, these views, the front view, that means we have two triangular planes joined together, one triangular plane is ABD and the other triangular plane is BCD. They are commonly joined along the edge BD. So to obtain the dihedral angle, we need to select an edge that is common to both. And So here the edge common to both is BD. Now the edge view of BD is a common edge to the two planes ABD and BCD. Therefore we need a view in which that edge BD is a true length. So we project perpendicular to BD in any of the views. Here the top view has been selected, therefore the first auxiliary projection is perpendicular to the edge BD. Now that means we need our mutual projector. Since the projection is done on the plan, the mutual view is going to be the front view then our mutual projector MP must be vertically up from the plan. And we introduce our reference plane XY perpendicular to the mutual projector MP. Here, here MP is horizontal going through the point D. Therefore, the points A, B, C are positive distances D is zero with respect to the vector MP direction. Now we introduce our X1, Y1 reference plane that is perpendicular to AP at a convenient location. And now we start our projections, taking our first projection through the point D. Then we look at the distance of D on the mutual view with respect to our xy plane and it is zero. So therefore d is on x1, y1. Then the next point is a. Projecting the point a through a and we go in to pick the distance from xy on the mutual view. That is a positive distance, the perpendicular distance Therefore, we enter the positive perpendicular distance. Then we go for the next projector through C. And again, we pick the distance on the mutual view or front view perpendicular to X, Y and plot it. Then our last point, point B, projections, we pick again its perpendicular distance from X, Y and plot it. Now we need to define the edges well, right? We need to know our edges well. So in drawing our edges, BC is one edge, then C, CB is another edge, then BA is an edge, then AD is an edge, and then we have our line BD. That is the common edge to these two 
triangular planes. Now, that means we have obtained BD, which is a true length, belonging to the two planes. Therefore, if we project along BD, which is our second auxiliary projector, that is 2AP, then since it is common to the two planes, the two planes will appear as an edge. And therefore, the angle between these two edges will give us our dihedral angle. That means, again, since that is a second auxiliary projection, then we need to first find our second neutral view, which must be our plan. Then we need also our second auxiliary mutual projector, which is in opposite direction to AP. Then we need to introduce our reference plane perpendicular to 2MP, perpendicular to that. And here, this time conveniently placed through X through BD. Therefore, here, the point B and D has zero distances from X, Y, but A is positive and C is negative. Take note of. Then now, put, draw our line X2, Y2, perpendicular to 2, AP, and now we start off with our projections. First point C, perpendicular to point C, through, through C. And we look at the distance at the 2MV. Now here, C is negative to XY on the 2MV view. Therefore, negative also in our entering point. Then the next point is B. So we again look at, we now look at B with respect on the top view or 2MV, and that is zero. Likewise, D is zero. Then we go in for our last point, that is A. A is now a positive distance. So now in drawing our edges, first, that is for the triangle, for the triangle ABD, that is the edge, and then for the other triangular plane CBD, that is the angle between them, the less than 180, is our dihedral angle. Assignment 2. Question 2. Determine the true length of line AB and triangle ABC by auxiliary projections. Determine the true shape and size of triangle AB by auxiliary projections. Now, question four. Find the dihedral angle between the plane ABC and BCD by auxiliary projections. Thanks. End of part two.